In Apache storytelling, places are as important as events, maybe more so. Sometimes the essence of a story is not so much what happened as where it happened. Apache elders will say to their grandchildren, drink from places, then you can work on your mind. I had no elders to teach me. I, I'm a child of the suburbs, like so many others, an orphan of a culture that has lost its deepest connections to place. My life has been a restless search to find home. My map and my compass are music. For me, places become music and music becomes place. Listening to a place, learning to hear its music, I come to understand a little more deeply where I am and how I belong. As a young man, I scrambled up peaks, I ran rivers, I made long backpack treks. Wherever I was, I wanted to climb as high, to travel as far, to see as much of a place as I could. But the time came when I, I, I understood that what I really wanted was to know a place, as much of a place as I could. I was no longer satisfied to be a visitor, a tourist just passing through. I wanted to stay put, to inhabit a place long enough that I might begin to hear its deeper music, and perhaps in some measure to feel that I belonged there. Every place is many places, and the more deeply we come to know a place, the more dimensions we discover. The geography, topography, geology, the weather, the climate, the light, the plants, the birds, and the people with their histories and their dreams. In a true place, we sense the world as it really is beneath and beyond our fears and our dreams. Even now, in a time when we've set our world on fire, we can still imagine the world as it once was, as it yet might become, and as we might learn to live within it.